the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May our Lord be with you. I call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. You are Son of God, Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. The word that took our very flesh, the splendor of the Father, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. We pray, O oh God, who through your only begotten Son made us a new creation. Look kindly, we pray, on the handiwork of your mercy. And at your Son's coming, cleanse us from every stain of our old ways of life. We ask this through Christ. Our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of Zephaniah. Thus says the Lord, Woe to the city that is included, to the tyrannical city. She hears no voice, except no correction. In the Lord she has now trusted, to her God she has now drawn near. For then I will change and purify the lips of the peoples, that they may all call upon the name of the Lord to serve him with one accord, from beyond the rivers of Ethiopia, and as far as the recesses of the north, they shall bring me offerings. On that day, you need not be ashamed of all your deeds, your rebellious actions against me, for then will I remove from your midst a proud fragments. And you shall no longer exalt yourself on my holy mountain. But I will leave as a remnant in your midst a people, humble and lowly, who shall take refuge in the name of the Lord, the remnant of Israel. They shall do no wrong and speak no lies, nor shall there be bound upon in their mouth a deceitful tongue. They shall pasture and couch their flocks with none to disturb them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial song, the Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The Lord will hear me and be glad. The Lord the hears the cry. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. The Lord, the Lord hears, hears the cry of the poor. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress, he rescues them. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord is close to the broken heart, and those who are crushed in spirit who saves. The Lord redeems the lives of the servants. No one who is guilt who takes refuge in him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. May the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the chief priests and the elders, What's your opinion on this? Man had two sons. Came to the first and he said, Sons, I won't work in the vineyard today. The son said in reply, I will not. But after he changed his mind, and he went. The man came to the other son and gave the same word. He said in reply, Yes, sir, but he never went. Which of the two did the father's will? He said, well, the first. Jesus said to him, Amen, I say to you, tax collectors and prostitutes are entering the kingdom of God through you. 
When John came to in the way of righteousness, you did not believe him. But the tax collectors and the prostitutes did. Yet even when you saw that, you did not change your mind and believe him. The gospel of the Lord. Now, maybe not everybody understands what I'm talking about. Most cars today, most modern, you know, recently made cars have what's called cruise control. And what that means is if you're on the turnpike or on 81, it's kind of a, you know, you can fly along, there's not an awful lot of traffic. You just put the thing up to a certain speed, put the cruise on, and then you just glide. You just kind of have to hold on to the wheel, keep your foot near the brake, but it makes driving very easy. You just kind of go. You're just on cruise, you, you know, if that's a good way to drive, it's a nice thing. If you're, if you're in an area where you can use that. That was how the, the chief priests and, and, and the bigwigs among the Jews kind of saw their religion. They're on cruise control. They had it made. You know, they had to take offices and uh, positions of, of authority and prominence in worship. They had it made. They were the big shots. And because they had offices and whatever, they could just kind of go on cruise control. And the poor guys were, you know, the losers, the sinners. Well, you know, too bad for them. But I got it made. You know, I am somebody special. We're unique. We have power, prestige. And Jesus says, no, 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 no. The tax collectors and prostitutes, sinners, and they're sinners. But at, at least they were willing to listen and maybe turn their lives around, change their minds, and come closer to God. You guys think you are close to God? Not necessarily. Uh-uh. You, you are on cruise control. Maybe you might want to tap the brake and pay better attention. What a powerful message that is for us. Especially those of us who come here. Daily Mass, you never have to attend. And during the pandemic, nobody has to come. Those of us who come may think, well, I'm something special. We're all special, but you know, you know why do we, are we putting those signs out about the mass being live streamed for Christmas? Because I'm trying to reach the people who aren't here. You know, those those are the ones we have a special responsibility to try to reach. It's called evangelization, and maybe if we show them we're interested, they'll change their ways and come back to church. Maybe they. Well, we got to try. You know, and those of us who are here every day. Have to have to watch our P's and Q's. Are we are we truly as holy as we like to think we are? Maybe we are. Maybe we aren't. So maybe we have work to do too. Maybe part of our work is reaching those who aren't here. And if we could save one soul by inviting them to come with me, they all say that's the key. Nobody ever asked me to come. Maybe that's why I might save my own soul. That maybe needs to be saved more than I realize. That's an interesting gospel. It's really for both audiences. Those who always come and those who never come. We're very concerned about will the people come back. And, and, and I mean, the bishop and I and our, our whole, our Episcopal Council have talked about, are, are they going to come back or not? Or will people say, well, I'll just be content to sit at home and watch Mass on TV. That word remnant, that Nina read for us, just, just you know, the remnant of a carpet. You know, just the end is, you know. No, those people, we got to get everybody back. Everybody. We have a lot of work to do. Christmas might be a start. Certainly will not be a finish. Let us stand, my friends, and love our petitions to Almighty God. Our response, Lord, hear our that the church proclaim the beauty of the gospel and encourage people to rejoice in the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That world leaders may prepare the way for the coming of the Lord by fostering harmony, authentic dialogue, and sincere concern for their people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the containment and eventual eradication of the COVID-19 virus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who ask us to pray for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Sophie Bogart, for 
for whom this Mass is being offered. May they be at peace with God. We praise the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Look, God, we beg you to hear all of our prayers, especially now late in our Advent preparation for Christmas. Draw us all closer, more intimate to you. We make all our prayers to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord's sacrifice be for you, for the praise of the Lord with me, for our good and follow of holy church. Please allure with our humble prayers and offerings, and since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For Jesus assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design of him long ago, opening for us the way to eternal salvation. That when he comes again, in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest. We who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which we now dare to hope. And so, with angels, archangels, thrones, minions, and all the powers of heaven, we praise you as we say, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. The blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. Sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, that they may come for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way with supper and to your channels. Once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Apostle. 
promises and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co heirs to eternal life and praise you and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by your divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace to the Lord be with you always. We share some sign of Christ's peace. Just a reminder, as I announced at the beginning of Mass, Thursday morning, obviously, it's going to be very nasty out there. So there will be no Mass on Thursday morning. Tomorrow we should be okay. But Thursday looks very weird. They're talking 12 or more inches. Get your snowshoes out. Let us stand to pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech the Lord that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Almighty God bless us and all of our families. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our liturgy and go in peace, glorifying God with our lives. Thanks be to God.